guys, welcome back to Brunette Confessions Tips and Tricks Thursdays. And if you're new, welcome to my channel. If you enjoyed this video, leave a thumbs up and subscribe below. So for today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys how I was able to get rid of my heat bumps. I mean, there might be a few that's still in there, but I really don't think so. I think for the most part, they're gone. Now, what heat bumps are in my dictionary, because I don't know if this is the actual word for them, is little bumps in your face that if you try to pop, it's not like a pimple that something comes out. No, either nothing comes out or a little bit of grief comes out. So I believe this forms in your skin because it's just either oil or sweat build up under and it accumulates and create these bumps. Now, I work out a lot, so it makes sense that my sweat was just accumulating up in there and just building a rocky mountain in my forehead. When I would have a bare face with no makeup, you weren't able to tell that much. But when I, unless you know you were all up in my freaking face like that. But when I would put makeup on, you could tell so much. And it was so, so sad. I'm gonna show you guys pictures of before and after and you'll be like, oh, wow. So I tried a lot of different products, I did facials, and just nothing was working out for me. And if something worked, it was just for a little bit amount of time, and then it would just stop working. And these acne-free products would just like dry my face too much, and nothing, nothing was really working. So then I started doing some research, whatever, and then I just made up my own little method. And I tried these new products that I'm going to share with you guys and they have changed my life. I'm going to show you guys pictures of before how my skin was and how it's been in the last few months this year. And it's, it's a really big change. So let's jump to it. So I'm actually going to show you guys pictures first of how my skin looked in 2017. I believe that's when it was like the worst. And then towards the end of 2018 is when i started using these products and this like method and it's when my skin my skin started changing a lot and that was around november december so i'm going to show you pictures of during my skin during that time and my skin in 2019 and the few months leading to today which i actually took pictures today in the morning so i'll show you how that looks as well oh this is a little bad so with my bare face you were able to tell a lot actually if you know the sun was beaming in my forehead so take a look at this this is 2017 in august yep not cute right there no beginning of 2018 january and this is with makeup on so I'm gonna show you guys here, we're looking at it and I'm gonna zoom in, try to zoom in more so you guys can see. So you see how it looks like a little rocky mountain in my forehead, yep. That's what I had to deal with. You see? So this is in April 2018, makeup on. All right. Okay, so now let me show you bare face before I started using these products. So this was November 2018. So this is how my skin was. Very, looked very dry actually. You see there was like, in some pictures you're gonna see some more red bumps than, but they weren't pimples, it was just like bumps. December, I was still using, December, I was still using the product, but you can see a slight change. It was getting better, if you look. It was getting better, those are December. Whoa, that was towards the end of December. This is towards the end of December. Look at the difference in that forehead. It's just, it's just amazing. It's, I, I just can't believe it myself. Now this is January. January, look at that forehead. There is no marks in there, it's just, it's just plain. It's, it's all a girl ever wanted. I just want a clear skin, look at that. This one is in February with makeup on. Look at that forehead, guys. Go back to the point in the video where I had makeup on and compare the bumps to this face right there. They are gone. And then this one is in March. May, the beginning of May, and, and this is me 
today right now before this video look at that side profile and then <laughs> compare it to the beginning photos of november that i showed you with that side pro like side view it's just crazy how different my skin looks how much like these products helped it's just crazy okay let's get to the good part i know you guys have been waiting jennifer shut up already i want to see the products that you use i want to see what the heck you did we're gonna get to it right now okay so i want to start off by saying this is not a sponsored video this is not an ad i wish it was but it's not so so the two products that I have been using are from Mario But It's Cute. I, feel, I think I have done some product reviews on them. Some things I like, some things I haven't. I always had people like recommend me this brand, so I decided to you know, try other products within the brand and see what works, see what doesn't. And these two, amazing. So this is the Enzyme Cleansing Gel. It says it is for all skin types. So I wash my face with this twice a day in the morning and at night. This is just so good. My face feels so nice and clean after. It's amazing. And this is the vitamin C serum. This is the holy grail. Vitamin C, it's very, very, very powerful. I had no idea how powerful it was to, until I started using it on my skin. Now, it has a lot of benefits. I wish I had a list, but I did not do my research and I don't feel like it's looking for it right now. So I'm just gonna read to you what the bottle says. It says it restores youthful luminosity to skin while delivering antioxidant defense against skin aging free radicals. I don't know what the heck that means. This powerful face serum effectively brightens uneven skin tone and reduces visible signs of aging, leaving all skin types soft, smooth, and glowing. I'm with it in the part that says it brightens uneven skin tone because it does. So I use this mostly every day, especially in the areas where I have the most problem, which is my T-zone here, my chin, sometimes here when I feel like a little bump coming through, but it could tend to dry up your face a little bit, so don't overuse it. If you feel like your skin, your skin, just your face is just feeling good one day, you don't have to use it that night. But I do use it when I feel like it just needs an extra help, and that is before bed. What I also do is I have a derma roller. I recommend this a lot. This one is from Amazon. It's a 0.25, the size of a needle. I think the best one is actually 0.5. I believe I read online, but I probably made a mistake and I bought the little one. But whatever, it gets the job half done. No, I'm kidding. It gets it kind of done. It gets it done. It gets it done. All right. So this is not good to use every day. The reason for that is, is because it makes your skin extra sensitive. And if you're like me who works out in the morning, if you do this the night before in the morning, when you're sweating, your pores and things are like open, it's gonna burn, it's really gonna burn a lot. So I really don't suggest you, or if you put makeup on in the morning and you do this at night, in the morning it's gonna hurt because your skin is extra sensitive and the makeup is like getting in there and those like open wounds and it's just, it's gonna hurt. So I don't suggest you to do this every single day. So I do this, let's say probably like, two times a week. So it depends how bad like the area is. So if I feel like I have like bumps, they're coming in through here, then I'll do this. Da -da 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 -da. And what this does, this actually has a lot of benefits. I don't know them from the top of my head, but there is a science behind this and I will write it down below for you guys. So the way this works is that these are all tiny little needles. So then once you put it, you scroll it through your scroll it. Is this scroll it? I think it's scroll it, whatever. Once you like scroll it through your skin in the worst areas and the most complicated areas, even it doesn't even have to be, be like heat bumps. You could have like a scar or something. I know when, when I pop like a little pimp or something, I usually stay with a little scar. So I go there da -da -da -da, to make sure that once I put vitamin C on it, the skin is sucking it in so i must i put the vitamin c i like massage it really well to you know make sure it's just getting all up in there the skin is sucking it, the skin is sucking it in that's what we're trying to achieve here okay because this is what has a lot of benefits as well so this is my secret to getting rid of heat bumps i really recommend it 
and not only for heat bumps but if you have like uneven skin tone if you have a little bit of few scars here and there I know when I pop a little pimple I usually stay with the scar you know this helps it's really helped I me and it's really helped my skin tone even out you can tell from the pictures that I showed you guys and the ones before like it's a really big difference and it's it's been working really well I do love to try new skin products here and there so I don't know how long I'll stay with this and then try to try something else but honestly I don't see myself changing this routine for a long 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 time because it's what just worked so good and I'm just so I've never been happier with my skin than now and I just feel confident without makeup and with makeup and you know it's just it's just a nice feeling to have like a nice clear skin you know also I want to tell you guys that I also use um I, don't, I have I have it here I don't have it with me but I have it like in the bathroom whatever I don't feel like running over there to get it I use um, I'm gonna show you guys what it is I think I actually did a video so I'll probably link that video so you guys can watch my review on that product but but now thinking about it I have not broken out when I say broken out it's probably like a pimple here and there during the time of month in a long time since I started using these products I don't remember having like a time of month that I've had like a pimple come up or something in the past like few months this year I don't I don't recall I don't recall so that's good but if I were to have anything come up I attack it very very quick before it even forms and I'm gonna show you guys the product that I use which is Mario Badescu as well and yeah so they're both little serums so whenever I see one is like a drying cream so I would put it on at night whenever I see something red coming up that I know it's gonna form into a pimple boom I attack it and the next morning is gone there is no trace of that in my face so that's that i hope you guys found this video helpful especially if you guys have been going through the same thing i went through i really recommend these products i'm going to link them down below with all the details and yeah if you guys have any other questions comments concerns i'm here for you just contact me via comments i will reply back on the blog on instagram wherever you guys want you can find all the details down below so give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you guys next time bye